Today I'm going to show you how to uh, fix the bent iPhone using your foot or your heel. Now you can see here at the top here, this is the one that's bent. And normally it is bent around this area, as you can see. The reason it's bent is because this phone here was putting in the back pocket. And after sitting uh, on the phone a few times, it tends to bend um, upwards. So you can see here at the top here, near the volume keys is is being uh, bent upward. So before we can um, straighten it out, we need to first remove the screen. So we go uh, straight into the parts where we will where we will remove the screen before we can proceed with um, pushing the phone uh, back or to uh, straighten it up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the iPhone 5S screen. First, you need to turn off the phone. And you need to take out the two screws at the bottom of the phone using a pentalock screwdriver. Next, we're going to need to use a suction cup. So we place the suction cup right just above the home key. So just place and push it down. And then we're going to need to be careful and pull out the screen slowly. You don't want to pull it all the way up as there is a uh, ribbon cable attached to the home key. If you put all the way out, you're going to snap it. Be careful when you do this. You might cut the ribbon cables in the in the middle. So don't go all the way in too far. Just try to pry it out from the edge of the screen. Now as you pull out, try to do it slowly. And I'm going to show you there is a uh, ribbon cable attached to the home key. So just be careful as you uh, there it is right there. So just be careful that you don't break the cables. Otherwise, you will have to buy another one. And um, it is important that you don't break the cables as uh, this cable is very unique to the phone. It's providing a um, touch ID. So we need to pry up, detach the cables. So pry out this metal uh, clip. So once you pry it out, you can uh, move the screen upwards. From here, you need to remove the four wheels off, off the metal plate. So there is one on each corner of the plate. So we need to remove four of them. Make sure that you uh, remember the wheels. They have a uh, different size. So make sure you, um, when you put it back, you put back the right wheels. So they are not all the same size. Just be careful. Take note of the wheel size. So we move the metal plate. And now we need to remove the three clips. So there's one right there. And there's another one just below it. Then we're going to need to remove another one as well on top of this one. So we need to detach this one first. Now there's another one just above that. So this is the last one. So once you have removed the three cables, the screen is detached. Okay, once you have taken out the screen, you can see that this phone is bent. So you can see the curve up here. This is the straight one, this is the bent one. So what I will try to do is just, I'm just going to use, try to use my foot and push it down. I have a piece of paper here with a little bit of gap. So what I do, I place this one on the floor. There's a little bit of gaps here, very tiny. I use the 12 pages on this one here. So the curve is around the volume buttons. So I'll try to place it here and I'll move the piece of paper in a little bit and I'll try to step on it. Okay, so I'll try to um, lift the bent in the bent positions. So at the top, place it on this piece of paper and at the bottom, place it right here and use your heel and push it down on this part here. So you want to push it down, yep, so push it down, yep, so, yep, if, and then once in a while, just check, you see if it bent straight, so just check the case, and bend it back. Right. You might want to move it up or down, so depending where the bend is, you might have to move this one up or down, or you might have to move the piece of paper further apart or inwards. So that's it only cover the bent area. 
once the paste, piece of paper covers the bed area, you can try to push it down. Okay, now after using my foot, pushing it down, you can see the frame is nice and straight, so it's no longer bent. If we have a look at this side, you can see on this side as well, it's nice and straight. So you can use your foot and push it back down, depending on where the bend is. If it's bent near the volume keys, you can use your foot and push it down. We can see it's nice and flat. So you don't need any tools, just your legs and it works straight. You do need to uh, take out the screen for safety reason because you might uh, break the glass. So for the best guarantee, take out the screen. You can, you might be able to put this, do it with the screen on, but that there's a good possibility the glass will break. So you can see here, now it's nice and flat. All we have to do now is to um, put the screen back on. Okay, now we're going to need to put the screen back and we need to attach the three cables uh, to the clip. So we need to clip them down. There are three cables to be clipped down. Now you need to take your time doing this and you don't want to force the clip down if it's not positioned correctly. Because um, if you are going to force it down and you're going to use excessive force, you may break the pins uh, either on the screen or on the motherboard. And if the pins on the motherboard is broken, then it will become irreparable. So what you do, you want to take patience and uh, push it down slowly. Make sure that the pins are correctly positioning before you pushing it down. You need to put the metal plate back on and we will put the screw over the metal plate. Now we need to attach the ribbon cables on the home key to the frame. This is the cable here that we need to clip down. So um, we're going to need to clip down and then place this metal piece over the top of that ribbon uh, cables. So we're just going to push it down now into the clip. And we'll cover that clip with the metal piece. So I'm just going to try to uh, push it down, make sure it's all clipping properly because if it's not uh, sitting properly the touch ID may not work even though so the home key may work yeah, but uh, if you don't do it properly the touch ID will not correctly work, will not work correctly. So now we will place the metal piece over the top.
Okay, here is the final result after we have uh, straightened out the phone. Now you can see I'm comparing the bent one against the one that is straight and never has been bent. And now both of the phone is looking pretty straight. So you can uh, use your foot and uh, push it back to uh, straighten it up. If you uh, put it on top of a piece of paper, it's uh, 12 pages on both sides. Uh, leaving a small gap in the middle allow us to uh, use our foot and uh, push it down to make it straight again. Thanks for watching this video.